Welcome back everyone to another Forza Horizon 3 video. In this particular video, we're going to be talking about barn finds and specifically how to find them easier. Now, I'm going to bring up the map to start with and I've actually saved up the last three barn finds that the game has told me about. So let's go ahead and take a look at these on the map. So the first one is down in this location to give you an idea of where I'm at. Surfer's Paradise is up here. And the beginning area of the game, you can see the rainforest down in this area. And then finally, the 12 apostles along the beach there and Byron Bay down here. So we're sort of in the middle here in a great area to drive through. But we're going to be in this area for the barn find. But as you can see, it's already showing up on my map, the exact location of it. The reason that I was able to get the exact location without actually driving there myself is I used drone mode. Now, for those of you who have been playing Forza Horizon previously, there was no drone mode. The only way you could find a barn find was to actually drive around inside these circles and find the barn or shed where the car was located. And the, what, the way you would know that you were in the right place is the cutscene would start to play. Well, with drone mode, essentially what I do is once it gives me the location, the circle, I drive to a location right on the edge of the circle. Then I bring up the menu and let's back out. You can see drone mode is on the main, what I call the pause menu. And drone mode is in the bottom right hand corner there. So I simply drive down to the edge of the circle and fly around the drone until I find the barn find. So we're going to start off the video by going to this very first barn find and then we'll move on to the other two. So I'll be back in just a moment when we're at the edge of the circle. All right, so here we are. We are now at just inside the purple circle, as you can see in the bottom left hand corner in the mini map screen. Now, you can also see the barn itself in the screen. Uh, but before we do any of that, let's take a quick look at our uh, car that we're going to be using. This is the aerial uh, buggy, which is a lot of fun to drive off road. So we know the location of the barn. So let's put it in gear and do what is so far my favorite part of the game. And that is driving off road. It's always a game to see, okay, where are, where exactly are the trees that I can run through as opposed to not. So here we are. And here is our barn. Okay, wow me. Dune buggy, cool. This is a Myers Max. I always wanted one of these when I was a kid. Actually, I wanted a Lamborghini Countach, but I figured I couldn't take it on the beach. All right, so it looks like we used a dune buggy to find a dune buggy. All right, so Warren's going to take that back to his shop, and it doesn't take very long in game time, maybe five, ten minutes before he'll be done with it. But for now, let's go ahead and bring up our menu, and let's see what we've got on tap for the next location. And here we go. So I'm going to set our location. And now our directions will take us here. You can see where we are as opposed to the reservoir and the valley. More toward the left side of the map. So I'll be back in just a moment when we're at the edge of this particular circle. All right, we're here. As you can see from the bottom left hand corner of the screen. In the mini map, we are just outside 
the zone for the barn find. So we're going to head cross country straight ahead and hopefully we won't run into any trees or at least not too many of them. Trees and or power lines. Oh my goodness. So many trees. So many trees. All right. That wasn't bad at all. So let's see what we have in this particular barn find. Come on. What have you got for me? All I right. I can't even see it under there. Is that? No, it can't be. It looks like one of the rarest and most valuable Maseratis ever made. Currently being used as a bookshelf. All right. So a Maserati added to our collection. Mate, if I'm right, this is huge. Give me a chance to get it fixed up at the shop, yeah? All right. So that's barn find number two down. Let's take a look on our back on our map and we'll see that our next barn find is going to be located in more of the outback area near the gorge toward the top of the map. So I'll be back shortly when we're near this location. All right, here we go. So now we are at the very edge, as you can see in the bottom left-hand corner, for this next and our final barn find for this particular episode. And it is straight ahead. As you can see, we are in wide open area. So with any luck, we'll be able to head straight toward this thing and not hit any trees or anything else that will slow down our journey. So far, so good. You got to love wide open areas in this game. Uh oh, uh oh. And here we are. I am way too excited right now. Seventy three Falcon XB, five point eight liter V eight, main force patrol interceptor, fuel injected suicide machine. <laughs> you might have to give me a minute. All right, very nice. A muscle car. So we've got three cars that will be added to our collection. So I'm going to now... Uh, yeah, sorry about that outburst. It's an Australian thing. I'll get it cleaned up and report back. Okay, so I'm going to give him uh, a few minutes to get these things restored. Again, it usually takes five to ten minutes in game time for that to work out. That ought to give me just enough time to work my way back over to that side of the map and... As you can see, I've got a little ways to travel back over to Surfer's Paradise. So in the meantime, I'm going to take the straightest route possible, and I'll see you guys in a few minutes with the finished products. Welcome back, everyone. And, you know, it never seems, never ceases to amaze me how games seem to uh, troll you whenever you think you have things figured out so here's basically what happened to me last time we left we were uh, trying to you know we found some uh, three barn finds and we were waiting for those things to be finished well so in the meantime I'm driving around you know having some fun running some races you know doing things like that and the first barn find was finished the second barn find was finished and I kept waiting for the third one. I kept waiting for the third one. We're now well over an hour since I started waiting for this barn find to be done. And lo and behold, a fourth one appears to me. So let's set the stage here. So now we are in yet another barn find. So now we're going to have four of these. So I've flown around with the drone, and this one was quite hard to find because, as you can see, we're in the middle of the rainforest. And it is very dense in here, and I am in my Ford GT with, you know, about 1,300 horsepower, drop to the ground, jet black, you know, that kind of stuff. So obviously I'm definitely ready to go through the middle of the rainforest to find another car. But they told me it was here, and I said, why not? 
We've got three in this particular video. Let's go ahead and make it four. So let's go ahead and do that. So as we're doing a little off-roading in our Ford GT, let's see if we can trigger. There we go. So here's the cutscene. Come on, the suspense is killing me. <laughs> oh my goodness. No way is that a Ford Woody. It is. It's a Ford Woody. This thing is like a priceless antique. It's like finding a Rembrandt in your garage. Well, for me it is. <laughs> okay, so we got the Ford Woody. I'm taking you back to the shops. Wow. I'll let you know when you can have it. So we've got the Ford Woody, so that, that now that makes four cars that we're waiting on. And once again, I'm going to pause the video and we'll be back hopefully with all four videos this time or all four cars ready to go this time. But who knows? All right. Welcome back, everyone. So when we last left off, we had picked up our fourth barn find and we were waiting for each of them to be completed. In our first video, we found the Ferrari Dino 246 GT, which is a very nice looking ride. In this video, we now have three of the four that are done. The Ford Falcon GT is ready to go. The Ford Super Deluxe Station Wagon, or Woody, is ready to go. And the Myers Dune Buggy is ready to go. However, the Maserati is anything but ready to go. And because it's been the amount of time it's been and uh, it's time to move on, we'll just wait, wait for the Maserati in a future barn find video. But for now, let me tell you, I've driven around a little bit in the, the dune buggy. In fact, let's go ahead and get in this thing now. I mean, what good's a barn find if you can't drive it around, right? So first things first, let's see what kind of upgrades we can get for this thing. Can we get a spoiler on it? I mean, let's face it. This is Forza, Fast and Furious, whatever the, oh yeah. Yeah, we can get a spoiler on this thing because of course we can. Now, somehow, this is also considered a rear wing. I'm not sure how that works exactly, but sure, why not? All right, what, on the, what about on the front end of the car? I mean, every Fast and Furious slash Forza car needs that, right? So, not really seeing a whole lot there. So, we can get rid of the front bar. <laughs> Gotta love that. All right, so what about the rear of the car? I'm sure we can get a rear diffuser, right? Sure. Why, why wouldn't you put one of those on this car? <laughs> so, okay. So none of that is available. But the, the funny thing is if you go into auto upgrade and take a look, what happens if we max this thing out? What does Forza give us for performance? If we take it all the way from the most basic D-Class car and take it all the way up to its max at level A. So it's thinking, and it's thinking, probably trying to figure out why on earth you want to take a dune buggy and make it a level A. So you can see here, by default, the car weighs, well, if you want to call it that, the dune buggy weighs 1,235 pounds. So we've dropped a little bit of weight here, about 80 pounds there. We've taken our peak horsepower from 60 horsepower. That's right. You, you heard that 60 horsepower to 196. So a huge jump. We've tripled our horsepower and the lateral G's, which is extremely important when you're going slow. We've gone from 0.7 to one. Now I have no interest in actually buying that, but one thing we do want to do is drive it. So naturally, what do you want to do with a dune buggy? You want to drive it in the rain. 
So look at the speed on this thing. So, I mean, we're in fourth gear and we're already doing 60 miles an hour. This thing is just a death trap. All right, we're at 71 miles an hour. Oh, 74. Oh, wait, we're going through a corner. We're slowing down. All right. So now we're out on the road here. There's nothing to hold us back now. All right. We're in fourth gear. We're already redlining. We're so fast the game can't even keep up with us, quite frankly. Somehow we're managing to outrun actual cars on the actual streets. So it appears as though we're going to top out at about 89 or 90 miles per hour. So you got to love that. All right, guys, we're going to call it a video here because this is pretty much as good as it gets here. When you're driving around in the dude buggy, you're doing about 90 through town. So hope you enjoyed the video and stay tuned for more of Forza Horizon 3.